how to set up a Twitch poll as a streamer, but also as a moderator, because moderators can also set up a poll on your stream. My name is Trudy and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. I also stream on Twitch myself on twitch.tv slash tree. Okay, so how do we set this up? One way to do it is via the Twitch chat. This is also the way for moderators to do it. So we're in Twitch right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our own chat. If you're live, this will already be the starting page. So if you do like twitch.tv slash your name and you're live, you'll end up right here. And this will be your stream playing, right? What you do is slash poll and then just chat that out. This will bring up the poll menu. It says channel points are now available in polls so we can use those as well, but we can just click that away. All right, so this is just the message. We can have the question here. So what's the prompt? What starter Pokemon? Pokemon for example, right? We can have any question we want right here. We can do fire, water, grass. Uh, that says gra <laughs> grass. Okay, so now if we would set this up, people can choose between fire, water, and grass. We can also allow people to do a second vote. So not just one vote, because the one vote is gonna be free. But we can also say they can use their channel points. For my channel, they're called cow points. And this is my channel point icon. but for you, it will say channel point if you haven't set this up or your custom name, right? We will allow another vote. So the first one will be free, but the second one, they can pay 200 points and basically say like, hey, I want to do two votes, maybe even 300 votes on fire. So they can use their channel points to uh, get their opinions to be more valued, I guess. If you don't want that, if you want everybody to be equal, untick this. In some way, this is kind of like privilege for subscribers as well, because subscribers, um, let me click this away for a second. If you see here, subscribers will get a multiplier. As it says here on the Twitch website, tier one subscribers get 1.2 multiplier for watching, tier two, 1.4 multiplier, and tier three, two times multiplier on their channel points. This means that if you use the channel points in a poll, let me open a poll again. <laughs> if we use this, in a sense, we're actually given an advantage to subscribers or people that have been watching for quite a while already. So we can allow that by clicking on it or disallow it by not clicking on it. And we can set a number of points they need to pay for one extra vote. And here we set the duration. We can choose the poll to be happening for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes or ten minutes. I'm going to just do one minute right now. I'm going to start the poll. You will see the poll come up right here and you can look at the results right here and you will see this bar go down. It could be that it's going down really slowly if you set it for 10 minutes, but we set it for one minute right now. So after one minute, this will be completely empty and it will pick a winner. So let me just vote on something. So we're going to have a winner. We instantly see the results. While people are voting, people can see like what's going on, which one is winning right now. We can see the percentage and the amount of votes on that one specific answer for the poll. Then we have to wait until it is complete and that will give us the result. It automatically gives this cup next to it saying like, yeah, fire one, it will be green and it will be highlighted. So now we know this is the winner of the poll. This will automatically go away, but you also can click on the cross to get it out of your screen if you want to. Now there's a second way to actually start these. And that's just to go to your created dashboard and then go to stream manager. And then in the quick actions, there is one called manage poll. If you do not see that, you can click on this plus, you can search for poll, you can add the manage poll. Right now it will remove it for me, but you can add it. And then you can click here and you'll basically get this pop up. Now we see the last poll. We can view the results, make a new one, or we can delete it when it's still active. So we can just click on new poll and we basically get the same prompt as we did before. It's literally the same, so it works exactly the same. So basically those are the two ways to do it. And I find it super easy for moderators to do it with the slash poll command. Sadly, you can't do this in the Twitch mobile app. It's a shame. Do you want to see more tutorials for moderators? I have a playlist right here. If you want to grow your own stream, I've got a playlist right here. YouTube thinks you're going to like this video and don't forget to subscribe right here to not miss anything. I'll see you.